Unfortunately, that is not the only death of a child police are investigating tonight. On Wednesday, 19-month-old Azaria Owens died from a gunshot to the head. Police say her mother, 19-year-old Justice Martinez, was also killed by ex-boyfriend DeAndre Owens, who would later kill himself. Cases like this one and Colton Turner's are examples of children becoming the targets of abuse. But Chris Sadegi tells us about a new grant in Travis County aimed at stopping dangerous family behaviors before they happen. Colton Turner is one case, Justice Martinez and her daughter are another. Two different cases with the same sad result. At Austin Children's Services, Lori Seeds Martin says it's becoming too familiar. Both with child abuse and domestic abuse um, across the board, there's been an increase in Travis County. With each new story comes a reminder to report abuse. But by that time, abuse has already happened. Stopping it before it happens is what Lori and company do with Strong Start. I always say kiddos don't come with a handbook and um, parenting, especially with the little ones, can be really challenging. Just this July, the state awarded a $1.8 million Project Hopes grant to Strong Start to help more families before any abuse can take place. But that means spotting the risk factors like substance abuse or financial problems, things that can be difficult to talk about. A lot of families feel a lot of shame for their inability to um, you know, not be able to raise their children in the way that they want to. The grant will help Strong Start double their staff to help more families with children under the age of five. But getting those families the help and education they need is everyone's job. Anybody and everybody. I, I mean, it's, it's a community effort. In a community that's seen its share of sad endings. In North Austin, Chris Sadegi, Cakes and News. Some of those other risk factors include teenage parents, homelessness, and past experience with abuse. You can read more about that grant and the program on our website, kxan.com. One of the big challenges in these cases is when to involve Child Protective Services. A spokeswoman for the agency says police should alert CPS anytime a child is abused or neglected. That includes children hurt during a fight between two adults. But as we have reported for weeks now, CPS admits it is overworked and understaffed. On Monday, CPS released a report about how it's trying to improve and keep staff from leaving. Among the proposals is an overhaul of training, including a new mentors program.